Greetings. Welcome to this very brief tutorial on how to access your World Language Test Banks. Uh, shortly, hopefully, you'll be getting an email, or if you've already gotten the email, it should have a series of links in it. One of them, uh, here's LHS's. Um, it's kind of a broken link because it's got a space in here, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole thing, right mouse click, and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open up a folder. Here I got the desktop. I'm going to click on uh, right mouse click and paste and hit enter on my keyboard. I'm going to double click on the banks and here I've got access to uh, all of these test banks. Let's say I teach level 1 and 2. I'm going to highlight them both and I just simply clicked on them and dragged uh, over them. Copy by right mouse clicking, copy, and then what I did is uh, I put them in my home folder. Let's say uh, that way I've got access to them no matter what uh, computer I'm accessing them from. Um, if it's on a laptop or your desktop, if, uh, whichever. Uh, I created a folder here already and all you do is right mouse click and uh, create a new folder. I created that question banks. So I'm going to double click on that since I already created it. And I'm going to right mouse click and paste. There I've got these folders. Now, the next step is to go into exam view test generator. So I'm going to go to my start button and I'm going to go into all programs. And then from there I'm going to find, uh, let's see, where is it at? E instruction, exam view. And there's all sorts of different options in here. The one you want is test generator. It might ask you to register and you can skip past that. You might have to enter your name on a one-time deal, but uh, for the most part, if I want to open the question banks I've already saved, I'm going to click on this. And to locate them, here, uh, if you follow my network path, here's my home folder, question banks, and there they are. Uh, if it's not that easy and you, know, you get to this point where you can't find them, you know, find the folder that you've created, find the correct uh, level, and open that up. From here, you can access and, and modify your test uh, bank questions. And if you want, you can save them from there. I'm going to close this. The next step, uh, shoot, sorry. I'm going to go back into the uh, test generator again one more time. And in this particular case, I'm going to go creating a new test using the test wizard. And let's just call this... Uh, sample. Next. Now if you don't see your list of question banks, and it's very likely you probably won't right away, um, you can click up one level, one level, one level. You can keep doing that all day long. Um, it's probably easiest if you click on this right here. And uh, we're at the C drive. We want to go down to your network folder, so uh, where you saved it. So I mean if you wanted to put it on your desktop, that's great. Uh, in here I've got it in my network folder under the question banks and if I hit select now I've uh, if you don't mess with that any further it should always default back into this so if I click on this and hit open from here I can choose my chapter one I want to select that um, let's say chapter two and let's say I'm giving a test over three chapters uh, hit next and you can choose however many you want from the question pool that you have. That's a lot of test questions. And then hit next and then kind of go from the prompts in there. So if you have any other further questions, please feel free to get a hold of me. And uh, I hope that you have a great day. Thanks.